Hey, what's up guys, MuddedHD here, I'm welcome to episode 5 of the club and we're starting off this episode with some free packs due to my season ticket and getting the special edition of FIFA 13. We got a Patrice Ever in a 4-1-2-1-2, he went for 9.3k, I was absolutely outstanding by the price that he went for, I was like what? the heck is going on with his price but that is what he went for and that gave us a nice bit of money and this is really helping push towards a better players in this squad but right now we're on a roll we're going very well you see there ever sold we did get a formation card i kept all the contracts fitness cards and a coach as well uh, just in case we were going to move to that formation but we were on a roll and we were going to go into another game. After sorting out the team, we had to sort out the fitness, of course, which was an issue that I expressed in the previous video. And Diaby comes back into the first team in this game. So all we needed was one win to win the title of Division 4. And really, I was pretty optimistic with this. I felt like the team has been performing so well since we signed this team. I think we've gone undefeated with this team so far. And it looks like it's going to uh, get a lot better as we come up against this Chelsea side. And I thought it's going to be a difficult game coming up at a whole gold side. Which is going to have 99 chemistry of course because they're all from the same team. But in the first minute of the game, Kone gets in there with a nice little header that bounces off the ground into the back of the net wins uh, the goal there and then we go through again and Carl Walker I don't know why he's all the way up that pitch and look at that he fluffed his lines like a little girl and well yeah in in some respects yeah but we were pushing and this guy really didn't have a lot of chances in this game and when he did he did not take him you see there Fernando Torres having a shot on goal, Brad Friedel making a great save to stop the goal machine that's Fernando Torres of course, he's going to not miss him ever again, but in this case, this game was kind of easy for us, I know we didn't score many goals, it wasn't a case of scoring goals, we just really defended very well, the midfield held them back very well and that's sort of a part of my game that I like to play through the midfield and the midfield's got to be strong and we scored one of the most dodgiest goals there, the deflection on that was absolutely amazing and it went into the back of the net and Leon Osman picks up his goal again and I think that's the second goal he scored for this squad, uh, for this team. And I thought uh, from there, 3-0 up, I'm just going to take a, a few little cheeky uh, long shots, trying to score some uh, pretty outstanding goals. And there we go, 4-0 was the end result after seeing Pina does a nice bit of skill and puts it into the back of the net. So it won the title after that win and it looks pretty nice. Uh, that game, we had 18 tackles and gave away no fouls. That's just stand tackles. I barely go in with the flying tackles, the crunching ones that managed to uh, not snap anyone's heels in Ultimate Team. I, I think that's kind of rubbish how EA have stopped implemented uh, injuries into the game and put healing, healing cards in. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. But we had a couple of players that were low on fitness and I was really with the money that we had from winning the title. I was thinking of bringing on a player for for just 21 grand. I didn't know who. Uh, really, it's something that you guys really, uh, I would really appreciate any players you would recommend uh, to put in this BPL, BPL squad. I might be moving on to another team, I'm not totally sure. But this team is just so good. And I go and pick up myself a Vermaelen because the team, uh, the team centre-backs was not going to well really really uh, low on fitness for Vertonghen uh, so hopefully when Vertonghen is back to fitness them two are going to be playing uh, alongside each other because they're very very uh, very very pacey and they they have these odd stats of somehow getting very high dribbling and passing I don't know what Belgium teach them at a school but uh, it's something weird going on down there we, we might need to check it out because we, we might get nuked soon uh, by some really high passing stats. But anyway, we came up against this team here and I was like, alright, uh, Dumbia up front, uh, pace, and Eto up front, pace. And this game, 
we had a great start. Diaby smashing in it in like a boss and making it 1-0 already. And we wanted to push on for more. I do not know how we didn't score from this chance. Kony getting a blank point range shot onto the keeper and he doesn't manage to put it away he just hits it straight at the keeper and Brad Friedel they played it through played that pace ball and it didn't manage to do it Brad Friedel is an absolute god in this game and will not be defeated as we have taken out so many clean sheets in some of these games and from there from that chance that they missed we just took the game by the horns and we just rattled it like a boss and into the back of the net all our shots went cleverly in here a finesse shot is pretty much the way to go in that sort of area you just want to put that one away don't take any chances and this guy goes ahead and you know what's going to happen the rage quick comes 10 rating for cleverly and diaby diaby's an absolute monster in this game i cannot recommend him uh, uh, so much but six shots and six shots on target no handicap i don't think was induced it was just pure pure beastness and after this game, we had to sort it out a bit more. Vertonghen coming in, and we had a game with uh, Vermalin and Vertonghen starting at centre back. So it was going to be kind of weird to have the two together because it, we 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 used to having Evans and uh, Vertonghen, but now it's going to be Vermalin and Vertonghen, the two Belgians. And this is the team that we came up against, and I was like, well, this is going to be great because he has. A very nice team. Okay, he's got John Terry, not the paciest, but he is good in the air. And we go through here, Kabai, a nice a smasher of a shot to put us 1-0 up. We're taking the lead pretty early in our games this uh, this episode. And it's going pretty and nicely in deal. But this was one of the most rubbishest decisions in the whole of FIFA and I don't know how that is a penalty to me Daniel Sturridge is like behind my defender and somehow he trips on his back uh, when he's got he's facing towards him and he gets the penalty puts it into the back of the net uh, Bradfield couldn't have done any more uh, just going to the to the wrong way and from that point we had so many chances this guy had hardly any chances and we just had tons of Coney just chipping over the bar Kone coming out wide again and I'd like to uh, sort of chuck in at that point, uh, cut in and uh, really try the finesse shot and I don't know how that was not a penalty, that was some sort of obstruction going on there and it did not come to us as a penalty as Daniel Sturridge's chance did and Kone goes through here, you expect him to finish. Keeper saves it, Pepe Reina, the clumsy clots that he is, somehow manages to save it. And you see there, he's had hardly any chances. We've had so many chances, nine shots and uh, three on target, excuse me. And uh, that, that double uh, roulette was pretty tasty, but it did not uh, suffice to a goal. And in the later stages of the game, Suarez picks up the ball after being laid into and a boom a shakalaka. I was absolutely fuming, saying that we've controlled this game from throughout, throughout. And he just comes across, he's got the referee's decision and he's just belted that ball into back of the net. But then Diaby picking up, up the middle, D Jibril Cisse came on for Kony because Kony was just losing energy like an absolute fool. And he just couldn't keep up with the game. So I had to change it and then in the last minute with two the two and a peanut the midget with his braided hair puts it into the back of the net and we managed to win it 3-2 and that's one of my favourite games of the series so far. I'm enjoying Ultimate Team so much recently. It's been really, really great. Uh, just it is so different to career mode, all the oddness and really the weirdness of deflections and anything going into the back of the net, all the get all the really, really sick shots we get in. But anyway, the guy sent me a message saying, uh, uh, well, that, he said that. And it was kind of just like, uh, which team are you talking about? Are you saying your team was that bad or... Were you talking about my team? Uh, I think he was talking about my team. But my team, if it was that bad, it wouldn't have won on that day. So anyway, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.